sorry, um, trying to push play or push record across the kitchen table. And I am actually sitting in a metal fold-up chair right now instead of my kitchen table or my kitchen chair uh, because my head with the kitchen chair was up too high and not in the frame. And so I tried this and we tried a few times um, with trying to get my head in the frame because I do in fact have the camera turned around so I cannot see myself, guys. Um, I'm doing this for you only so the video is a little bit better quality um, because when I can see myself and we turn it the other way, then the quality is not that good. Um, however, I am going to be showing you some things in this video, um, so hopefully I get them in the frame and the, the camera focuses and all of that good stuff. If it does not, um, I apologize. I can't edit it out or cut it out or anything like that. I'm not fancy like that. Um, so if, you know, if I do do that, please forgive me. Um, any questions or comments, just leave them in the comment section below. Um, and I have some stuff that I'm going to also be um, putting in the description box for your information. So, I'm um, sure you know by the title of that I have not even figured out yet, but we have three planners here, actually four in total, um, that I'm going to go through uh, and I guess do sort of like a quick review um, and then tell you which one I've chosen for 2020 and why. Um, I actually did a full review, uh, my last video was a full review of this planner here, which is the Panda Planner. Um, so I'll link that in the description box as well if you want to see that. I do plan on doing um, full reviews of these other two planners as well. Now, having said that, um, I have not done my hair. It's just pulled up and pinned up. My hair is very long. Um, I'm not sure if I've ever worn it down on camera, but my hair is very, very long. It's like down, down to my butt. Um, I need to do something with it. It needs to be cut. It needs to be trimmed something because it's just out of control. So I apologize for that. Uh, but today is my birthday. So January 4th and, um, Look at this cute little calendar. Uh, well, this cute little date thing um, with the, you know, the month and the day and the, the, or the month and the date and the day. And so that's my birthday. Isn't that cute? Um, Ray got it for me. Um, so that's another thing. I have a lot of ideas, guys, for some videos. So I'm going to be putting up some videos um, very soon. So look out for them. Um, oh, this is something else, my grandma, this is actually a part of something I'm going to be reviewing. It was a, a smudging kit, and it came with this, um, turquoise stone bracelet that I love, and I'm not sure if this is, like, one of their, like, little logos, or, like, their little, um, like, signature. I hope that you can see it, but it's just a tiny little paw, like a paw print, and I love that because, you know, I have two puppies, and they're my babies, um, so I'll be doing a review of that as well. It's a, a smudging kit. It's my first smudging kit, uh, or smudge kit, whatever you want to call it. Um, but yeah, um, off topic, um, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos of this nature or of some other nature because I am just a very, um, what's the word? I'm a very... I was going to say that, what was I going to say? I can't even remember what I was going to say. Something that to do with nature. I'm a very uh, freaky, freak, that's what I was going to say. I'm a very freaky uh, nature person. I don't know what I was going to say, but it wasn't, it wasn't going to sound right. Anyhow, um, I am getting a little bit more comfortable on camera because things like that I, I used to stop the camera and I would re-record. If I said something stupid like that, I would just re-record because I didn't want, I wanted my video to be perfect. And that's a part of like the whole anxiety thing, which I will get into another time. So I'm babbling. Um, yeah, so basically I'm going to be doing a review on 
Uh, and it's going to be a short one because I already have the full review of this. But I'm going to be talking about the Panda Planner, which is the five and a quarter by eight and a quarter size. And it is the um, Undated Daily. So I'm going to be doing this one. And then we have this 18 month uh, rec recollections uh, planner from Michaels. And so uh, this is a dated 18 month um, horizontal layout. And then we have the very famous Happy Planner. And this is their large uh, version, and it's the eight and a half, eight and a half by eleven. So this is a larger one. So, um, so yeah, I had bought the Panda Planner on Amazon. I had searched high and low for a planner this year. Um, the one I had last year, I, I loved it and it was much, it was way different than this one, but I still loved it and, um, it helped to keep me somewhat, you know, organized somewhat together. Um, but I did not utilize it as, as much as I could have. So this year, um, that is my plan. And so that's why I took a lot more care in choosing a planner, um, and I really want to, time management is really a focus for me, um, this year and just really getting myself together and on a routine and a schedule. And I have three kids and, um, you know, a man that, uh, I have to take care of and, um, and fit into my busy schedule. So, um, going to, uh, move these over and we're going to start with the Panda Planner. Again, if you want to see anything more than what I show you, um, you can check out my full review video. Um, okay, so like I said, it is the five and a quarter by eight and a quarter. Um, I'm going to tell you the pros and cons of each planner and also show you the planner. So this is a hardback uh, planner. I chose black. They do come in other colors. I'm not sure the colors, but I do know they come in other colors. And I know one of those colors is like a pinkish salmon uh, color. So that's that that color I know it does come in. Um, they range, um, this size is about $25. I think it's 24 and some change. If you decide that you would like to purchase your own Panda Planner, I have a code for you to use and this card is especially especially is especially or specially is specially for you my friends my loved ones it says give this card to someone you love and I love my subscribers and everyone who views my videos so get the 10% off I did and I think I paid 20 or 22 or something like that um, and that's not just this one, but any Panda Planner, you can get your 10% off with the Panda Fam code when you check out. And that's on Amazon. I believe, I, I don't know if you can use that code anywhere else, but I know Amazon. Um, and I will try to remember to put that in the description box as well. So if you'd like to get your own, um, they do have a, a larger version that's like a soft back. So first off, it comes with the elastic band that you can use. Um, you can just, you know, put it in the back if you don't really want to look at it or see it. It also comes with three ribbons. I don't know if they come, if they match the color that you got because I chose black and I ended up with, they gave me a black, white, and black, white, and silver ribbon. So I'm not sure if that was to match the cover or if those are just their colors and that's what you get with all of the planners. I do not know that. Um, but there is three ribbons to section off uh, each section, which is the monthly, weekly, and then daily. Inside, they give you just a little um, how to use this planner, and then they also reference you to the mypandaplanner.com where you can take advantage of the free um, video courses or video um, lessons or something that they offer as a um, free um, as they they offer it free with your purchase I guess they're not actually free but if you purchase a panda planner then you get those videos for free 
Um, so that's there. And then it goes straight into the monthly, which I've written in. So let me go to a... Okay, so this is what it looks like. So this is the layout. Uh, again, it's undated. So you put the dates in yourself. You put the month up here yourself. Then it has a spot for focus and a, and a spot for habit. And that's what this is here. It has a little H, a little habit, um, so that you can track. So you have a habit tracker. Um, you have a little note section on the side. And then down here on the first page, you have a plan. So it's distractions to avoid. It's um, the month's goals that you want to accomplish. And then on the second one, on the second page, it is a monthly review. So, um this month's wins and the insights that you've gained. So that is, that's it for the um, monthly. Then it takes you to the weekly, which is divided by this lovely little panda bear. And something about this, I just, I liked how simple it was. And so that's another thing that really made me um, decide to get one of these. Um, but it gives you two, there's one of my ribbons, two pages per week. So you can plan out your week. I'm not sure if this is close enough. Like I said, I did a review on this um, where I had the camera turned around and I got a, a closer up look. So if you would like a closer up look, check that video out. Um, just pretty much trying to tell you quickly about each one. Um, so two, two pages per week. Um, you put in your day, um, your big wins, how you'll improve, and then things that you will do, things that you will do to make this week great. And then it separates the, um, into categories like personal work, relationships, family, friends, um, uh, what you're looking forward to habits that you're focusing on developing, um, could even be habits that you're, you know, focusing on undeveloping. Um, learn something new and passion projects. And then over here, it gives you four spaces for projects and then five lines for this week's goals. So it's very nice. You can plan out your week. If you don't have anything going on, you don't have to fill it out and you don't miss it. The, the pages don't go wasted because it's undated. So then you have the daily section. Again, you have the cute little panda. And I wrote in these, so let's go to a clean page. Okay, so this is the daily view. So again, you have two pages. This is what drew me in and made me buy this planner. This is ultimately what I um, wanted. This is what I was looking for. So you fill in the date. Uh, it has a morning review, what you're grateful for, what you're looking forward to, an affirmation, your focus, exercise, and then your your day's priorities and then over here you can write down your entire schedule it goes from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. and then there's spaces in between if you want to do like 6 30 7 30 and then a tasks list a little space a little space for notes and then an end of the day review where you um, write in your wins and how you will improve so this is ultimately what um, made me choose to get this planner and then after that, it provides you, um, I want to say there's like 93 days. This is a three to six month planner. So it gives you, it gives you six months. Where is it at? So it gives you six of these for the month. It gives you, I didn't count how many of the weeks um, that it gives you. But it's supposed to be up to 90 days, I believe. And then the for the daily, it's there's 93. So there's enough to do 93 days if you fill one out every single day. But that is what is so great about having an undated planner is that if you don't fill it out, then you have you can use it for the next time you fill something out. So then after that, it's just simple dot grid. Uh, note pages and I believe there's about a dozen of those I think there was 11 11 dot grid pages and then um, and I did do a pen test and some notes and then that's it that's the end and then there is this um, very durable 
um, back pocket and it's got the uh, like the material here so it's very sturdy so that is your panda planner uh, undated daily and again uh, look you know put the code in if you're you're gonna get one for yourself um, and so that's all I'm gonna say about this one we're gonna move on now to the next one which is the recollections planner now um let me just say oh you know what we're not going to move on because i didn't tell you the negatives okay or the pros and cons so i showed you the panda planner i i filled it out for a few days i tried it out for a few days i do like it um first problem is that it's not big enough for me um, one, I have very big handwriting, so, you know, I have to make an effort to write very small in this, um, and I feel very constricted, um, or restricted, sorry, I feel very restricted when I'm, uh, writing out for the day, or I haven't done any of the weeklies, but I feel very restricted when I'm writing in this because there's so, such limited space, um, and it's smaller, you know, I think it's a little smaller in person, um, the calendar itself, the boxes are not even an inch, I don't think. Um, so yeah, like maybe an inch, but very small. Again, with the dailies, just very small. The lines are very close together. So that is my huge issue, that I don't have a lot of room. Um, and I like to take notes. I like to write down things. I like to jot down a lot of stuff. And so that was the one big negative. And then the second big negative is I've been watching all of these plan with me's with these sticker kits. And I'm like, I can't do that with this. So that was the two main um, reasons for why I started looking for a second one. Now here's my Today's my birthday, and I wrote in, I didn't write anything in, I had actually just put the stickers in a couple of days ago. So, you know, I decorated my notes box a little bit over here, and I put that there. But, you can't really do much with stickers, and so I really wanted to do that this year, and I couldn't do that with this. So, I went and looked for a different planner. Now, moving on, I went to Michael's, um, and I already told you the, the good things about it. It's small. You can um, carry it with you if you need to, so it's always with you, um, and it's undated. Uh, another negative, too, is it's only good for the three to six months. I didn't like that either, and it's a little pricey, so, you know, pricey, price-wise, there's, there's a few negatives for me, um, and these are my negatives. This, this might be the perfect planner for you, um, but moving on, I went to Michael's because I wanted to check out the famous Happy Planner um, that I've been seeing everyone, you know, um, really excited about. And also, the uh, not that I went there for the Erin Cauldron, I think it's Erin Cauldron uh, Planners, is that how you say it? Um, I wasn't looking for one of those. Um, I was looking to see the Happy Planners, but the Erin Cauldron calendars, planners, are apparently uh, very popular as well. And I came across this Recollections uh, planner that I later realized after I purchased and I was looking online for a review of it that it is almost identical to the Erin Cauldron um, planner and they're calling it the Erin Cauldron dupe uh, planner. So um, the price is a huge difference, so we'll start there. This is a $30 uh, planner, um, whereas Erin Cauldron, I believe, is like 60 and then even more if you personalize. So this is, right off the bat, at least half off um, of what you would pay for an Erin Cauldron. If that's your uh, type of planner, maybe you would be interested in checking this one out. Um, I just picked it up because I liked it. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, so it's $30. I didn't realize until I went up to the register to pay for it that this baby was 50% off. So I got this for 15 bucks. 15 bucks, guys. So I was super excited, super pumped, and now I'm even more super pumped that it resembles a very high-end, you know, expensive uh, planner. And I never realized how simple I was 
and how simple, you know, how much of a, like, simple planner I enjoy until now, but we'll get more into that, too. Okay, so I feel like this is going to be a really long video. I hope that I'm not boring you. Okay, so this is a Recollections 18-month uh, horizontal dated, it's dated, so it's a dated 18-month um, horizontal layout. Uh, it is seven and a half by nine and a quarter. Um, so right, right, I'll just say real quick with the, with this is the negatives for this, I'd say is that it is a little bit larger. So it's not something that you can just easily put in your purse unless you have a really big purse. Um, so that is one con. Um, I do know uh, for if anyone's interested that some of these do come with interchangeable covers um, This one apparently is not interchangeable uh, But they do have them so they do have ones that are available that you can just take the paper right out of the top and Insert uh, don't try pulling it off the, the, the coil because I don't think that's what we do what you do um, I think you just pull it in and out um, This one doesn't have that option um, I was a little bummed when I found out that mine didn't have that option, but that's okay. So, um, okay, so yeah, that's one of the one of the one of the downsides, I guess. Um, what else? What else? Uh, not not many negatives for this calendar. I really like this calendar a lot. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. It is harder to do it this way with the camera this way because it's like. I'm showing instead of just looking at it. Um, but anyhow, it says, let me give you a, few, a full view. It says, have the courage to be curious. And it has like a, like a sky, like a night sky, um, like a galaxy kind of look to it. And then the back is just um, the color. Okay, so when you first open it, we just have this. Uh, pinkish purple on the inside um, it came with this um, clear pocket so you get a clear pocket to put whatever you want in it you could put your pens um, you know some sheets of stickers whatever you'd like so it comes with that I just hope that I'm I'm in frame guys um, so it comes with that and then the first page says make it happen very pretty um, and this is, like I said, an 18-month planner. It started in July, so started with July 2019. So we have the year at a glance here in the front. Um, and then I did not know what this was for, but um, hold on a second. My hands are really dry. Okay, and then we have a year in review. Um, I've never seen these in calendars before. I kind of didn't know what the purpose of it was, but I'm guessing maybe it's just to like mark off a day. Like for instance, you know, July 4th is a holiday. So maybe you just like circle it. Um, because I, you know, I don't think there's anything in here saying what the holidays are. Yeah. So I think that might be what that's for so that you can record your own holidays and birthdays, whatever it is that you celebrate. So that's pretty neat. Um, and then another good thing um, about this is um, it comes with stickers. So there's an important contacts page over here, which I probably won't use. I keep my contacts in my phone, but it's good for some people to have. Um, and then the stickers. So be believe it or not, there is four pages of stickers in this planner. So you've got, um, what was on this one? Oh, okay. So these are just like little labels. They say game day, happy birthday, vacation. I actually took one off and put on today for my birthday. You've got uh, little sayings, flags, notes. Um, somebody called these habit trackers, but I thought they were like little like task menu thingy so you could like check off I don't know and then again just some like check marks and some phrases and some notes and then the fourth one is full of icons and you've got emojis and then you've got like your shopping icon bicycle icon dent you know um, 
tooth icon for the dentist, stuff like that. Then, this is something else I love about it, is it comes with a little folder, um, which, you know, you have this thing here in the front to hold on to something, but then you have this as well. Um, you know, like I said, the thing in the front could be used for, like, some stickers or some pens, whereas this could just be used for, um, like, a bill or something, maybe, like a piece of mail or something that you, you're, you're keeping. Um, I, I know for me, excuse me, when there's important bills that need to be paid or something very important, I will keep it in my agenda, um, and this is perfect for that. So there's a folder on both sides, this one that side and then this side and then then we get into um then we start with july so this is july now i was playing around and put some stickers in here we're going to move to a plain one i'll show you the dividers um so that's august we're already past all of that so that probably doesn't matter for you guys but it's august and then we got Oh, I got a sticker on there. September. October. You guys probably can't see. November. December. January. Now I'm going to turn it over. Don't laugh because this is the first time I've ever done like a sticker layout. And I'm not finished. But, um... While I was waiting for my phone to charge to do this video, I kind of got sucked into doing a sticker layout. Now, I will show you the stickers, too, that I have, um, but I'm only really working with the ones that came in the book and some other various stickers that I've had for a while now, but they are not the, like, Erin Condren or the Happy Sticker, um, one, the ones that you normally see people using in the, in the, um, in their agendas. So... This is what we got, um, which, you know, it's my first time, so I just covered up the days, and then I did, like, this little section right here with the to-do list and the check-offs and, you know, this little gold border, but, um, so that's what I did. This is what it looks like plain, so that is with nothing on it. I love it. It's very simple. It's very light. The paper is very white and bright. Um, that is one thing also that I saw in a review that the pages are a little bit whiter than the Erin Condren um, agendas. I keep wanting to say the Erin Cauldron, the Erin Cauldron, I don't even, I don't even know what I was going to say because now I want to say Erin Cauldron Planner, the Erin Cauldron, the Erin Cauldron I don't know, but anyway, got a little bullet section up here or down here by the set on the side. You have your uh, calendar. It starts with a Sunday. Um, the colors do alternate. So for instance, um, January or that's, this is February. How's that? November. Oh, duh, Shannon, November comes before January. The colors alternate, so you've got like a purplish color, and then blue for December, and then pink for January, and then a lighter blue for February, and then back to that purple for March. So it alternates between four different colors, and so again, this is your calendar. Um, what else did I want to mention? Hmm. I don't know what I was saying, but anyways. Um, okay, so this is a horizontal layout. So you've got, so it's the month, and then this is your week. So I really, um, I really, uh, like, what's the word? stumbled I want to say stumbled I really had a hard time deciding between a vertical or a horizontal layout I had a vertical last year 
and I thought it was odd when I first got it and opened it up, but I adapted to it and I used the blocks as like morning, afternoon, evening, um, and kind of like wrote my schedule in there. Um, but I don't know, I kind of wanted to try the horizontal. I'm not sure if I'm regretting that or not, but they do have a, a vertical, um, a vertical option. This is the horizontal. So you have uh, a little bit of lines for each, each day. And then you have these blocks here with whatever you want to do with those. I actually, for mine, I think I put a sticker in, yeah, for my birthday. Yeah. And I, for New Year's and I just put this little sticker right here for my birthday but like I said the stickers I have do not actually fit they're not the right stickers so I need I need to go sticker shopping I should put that in here sticker shopping okay so yeah so then you go through the um, the week the weekly view and then it takes you hold on and then there's a note page at the end yes a note page. I didn't notice that, that there was different colors on that one. I guess it's just the last one. Yes, so it's the last, the last week it has different colors here. So it changes from pink and goes to the bluish color. Um, and then there's a note page at the end, which I like too, because uh, the calendar that I had last year was like that. And I would use this space to mark down when I wrote like a budgeting kind of like what I um, when I paid my my utility bills and stuff. So then it goes into the next month. Then after we go through all of the lovely months, then there's a note section, which I really love too. And it has a little tab for notes and it has lined paper. And then also on the sides, you have the dot grid. Um, I didn't count how many sheets are here, but it's a nice, um, nice amount. Uh, I'd say, yeah, I'd say well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, probably about 15, maybe 15 to 20 pages. And then that's the end of the planner. So most of the goodies are up front with the, the pouch and then the stickers and the folder and then you get the note section in the back again I got this for $15 but it is um, originally $30 um, and you can get this at Michael's I'm not sure if um, you can get it anywhere else um, but you can get it at Michael's now I already told you all the things that I love about it um, and the only thing that I really, you know, don't like about it is just the fact that it's bigger, you know, but I want it to be bigger. 